Hello people, my name is Jay Sony and this is my comparison video between uh, Sony Xperia M4 Aqua and Sony Xperia C4. As you can notice uh, the difference between the screens of both the phones. This one has a 5.5 5 inch HD display, this one has a 5.5 .5 inch full HD display and apart from their obvious differences, there's also an internal hardware difference. That is, this phone is completely waterproof up to a limit of course but this one is not at all waterproof this phone is obviously very good for one hand use this phone is not that good because of its big 5.5 inch display they both have IPS LCD display so the viewing angles are pretty good as you can see you can see all the colors and the screen is as visible as from the front this one is almost 8 millimeters thick 7.9 millimeter to be exact and this phone is 7.3 millimeter thick it's very thin and very light this phone is also around the same weight but it's a tad heavier than this phone i don't know if you can notice or not but sony xperia c4's screen looks more brighter than sony xperia m4 aqua's screen and you can see they are at almost at the same brightness level as you can see let's turn them to full so there won't be any doubts now let's check the camera of both these phones let's take a selfie of my hand or palm now this is without any effects or selfie features as you can see there's a clear difference between both the phone's front cameras this one's took a much more natural image but sony xperia c4's camera uh, kind of picked up more light now let's take a selfie with the selfie features on m4 aqua has portrait retouch for uh, selfies while Sony Xperia C4 has this style portrait and it has lot of options similar to this as you can see none daily soft skin daily red lips and ten mystery probably these are not for me but uh, yeah Sony Xperia C4 also has this slider for for more softer image the higher you go the softer your image will be so now let's try a selfie with with the selfie features on and m4 aqua doesn't have that kind of slider as you can see as you can see the difference is very much visible between both the phones so you can use these features for the back cameras too but uh, the back cameras always takes photos very close to reality so you might end up not liking your own face so i will advise you to not use your back camera for selfies at least now just to show the quality of the back camera of both the phones let's take a photo of this It didn't focus properly as you can see now let's take a photo with c4 c4's cameras are actually very good as you can see the details the lightings and its back camera is also very good let's see the photo so here's the photo that sony xperia m4 aqua took and uh, it doesn't pick up that much detail and it didn't pick up that much lighting although it's adequate for the photo but uh, as you can see there's this there's a clear difference between both the phones quality in this photo the lighting is better and the pen drive actually looks very better and it's look it looks very detailed as you can see you can zoom in zoom in and you can still notice the details so the back camera of this phone is also very good and this phone's uh, it's also decent but not as good as xperia c4's so you get the idea of how the camera of both the phones are now so that's it for the cameras
Now let's go to the Antutu and uh, check the performance of both the phones. They are both running on 64-bit octa-core chipset. This one has Snapdragon 615 while this one has MediaTek 6752. This one has a better GPU, the Mali T760. This one has Arduino 405 which is not that powerful. As you can see they are both running on Android version 5.0 Lollipop. Sony Xperia M4 requires 1810MB of total RAM. Sony Xperia C4 has 1687MB of total RAM out of which around 400MB is free right now and on this phone around 1GB is free. Uh, M4 Aqua seems to have better RAM management than Xperia C4. Sensors Xperia M4 Aqua has all these sensors direction, G sensor, acceleration, light, E compass, proximity, linear acceleration, and rotation vector. Sony Xperia C4 has all these direction, acceleration, light, and E compass, and proximity sensor. Rest are not supported as you can see. Now let's run the test. So here are the results, Sony Xperia M4 Aqua scored around 30,000, 30, almost 31,000 points and Sony Xperia C4 scored 41,000 points, just below Samsung Galaxy S5. Now let's see which one has the loudest speaker. And by the way, both these phones have very good uh, music quality in earphones. Now when you play it like that, this phone's speaker sounds definitely louder. Let's listen to them one by one. Uh, the Sony Xperia C4 speaker is louder but uh, when it's on the table like this uh, you can't even hear the ringtone sometimes because it's blocked by the table so you have to keep that in mind and now for the movies well none of these two phones can play the 4k resolution video by default as you can see now let's see which one of these can run GTA San Andreas at maximum settings at playable frame rates currently they are both running at default settings and both the phones are getting very hot especially m4 f1 in the front as you can see playing without any lag or anything same on the Sony Xperia M4 Aqua although there is a slight bit of delay now let's try at the maximum settings well Sony Xperia C4 is was at already max was already at maximum settings i didn't even notice probably saved from the last time but anyway let's turn this one at maximum settings and sony xperia c4 is is running light it was running before and m4 aquas has become more of a slide show than a game now now this phone is getting seriously hot around this area let's see what is temperature right now and as you can already tell this test is over because it can't even run the game at playable frame rates 
at maximum settings. So the current temperature of the phone is around 46 degrees Celsius and it's very hot around this upper area of the phone and in the front too which is not good for the screen. This phone is also getting pretty hot. Let's see this phone's temperature. It's at around 46, 45. Now it's at 46 degrees Celsius. Now let's see which one of these phones uh, supports USB OTG while I already know that Sony Xperia M4 Aqua does not support USB OTG. As you can see nothing popping up here. And Sony Xperia C4 does support USB OTG. As you can see, USB storage is connected. Now let's try the web browser. Let's try to open the site at the same time on both the phones. One, two, three. Sony Xperia C4 is almost done while Sony Xperia M4 Aqua is still at the half, still at half way. Is already fully loaded now. M4 Aqua is still loading. Now let's open this link. This is a very image heavy link because it has all those benchmark screenshots so let's see which one of these phones loads all the images and the page first one two three so on xperia c4 again got the lead and now they are well so on xperia c4 one again Xperia C4 also loaded the video first. M4 just loaded the video now. Let's try a full desktop site. Yahoo.com When both these phones get a little too hot, they both start acting funny. Sometimes Xperia C4 loses all its icons and it becomes unresponsive and C4 starts lagging or stuttering a lot when its temperature gets a little too high. Now let's refresh the page at the same time. One, two, three. C4 again loaded first and 4 Aqua is still loading and now it's done. Pinch to zoom works without any problem on both the phones all thanks to 2 GB of RAM the page doesn't have any checkerboards or so so in browsing I could say that Sony Xperia C4 is better and gaming also the Sony Xperia C4 is better all thanks to its powerful MediaTek 6752 chipset now comes the battery and the verdict part well the battery of Sony Xperia M4 is uh, Sony's advertising it as a two-day battery and it is kind of true if, if you use it moderately not continuously and Sony Xperia M C4's battery is not that good it could last you a day at most at moderate use on, he on heavy use it won't even last you a day most likely seven to eight hours and on gaming it will last you around uh, four to five Maximum 5 hours on continuous gaming. Uh, even on the boxes, this is Sony Xperia M4 Aqua's box. Sony Xperia M4 Aqua. It clearly says 2 days of battery. While there's nothing like that on the Sony Xperia C4's box. That is because the Sony Xperia C4's processor is a little too powerful for its battery and it doesn't have those 4 power saving co cores that Sony Xperia M4 Aqua has. Although you can use the Sony's own uh, stamina mode to save a little more battery life. Now for the choice between both these phones. Well the choice is very simple and let me make it even more simple for you. If you are looking for a phone with 5.5 inch display, a very good gaming performance, a very good camera and a decent build quality then you can go for Sony Xperia C4. 
but you have to pay a little more than Sony Xperia M4 Aqua. But if and if you are looking for a phone with very good one hand use and also almost premium look and feel in hands and also waterproof a very good build quality a good enough cameras and uh, very good battery life and if you can live with decent overall gaming and phone performance then you can go for sony xperia m4 aqua so that's it for this comparison between sony xperia m4 aqua and sony xperia c4 I hope this video will help you in deciding between both these phones and if it does please like and subscribe to my channel automatic and thanks for watching.